In just two hours, we will find out if teachers in Oregon's largest school district will go on strike for the first time ever. Tension between Portland Public Schools and its teacher union growing tonight with the decision due by 7 p.m. Pay and class size are some of the biggest sticking points. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. A little more than an hour ago, the district announced they would compromise with teachers on planning time, but increased pay is still off the table. K2's Emily Gersh is live for us tonight at Markham Elementary in Northwest Portland, and this strike looks likely, Emily. Yeah, Deb, well, Dr. Adams with PPS just gave an update here at Markham Elementary School. He says the district simply cannot afford what the union is asking for, and he's asking them not to strike. Meanwhile, I spoke with a parent and a daycare provider who are trying to make plans for child care. The possibility of Portland Public Schools being closed tomorrow leaves thousands of families without child care. Daycare providers say they're already hearing from parents in need. When the official word for the strike goes out, I expect the phone is going to continue to ring, and we've been fielding emails as well. Deanna Cohen is the owner of WOW and Flutterville Play Gardens, which operates at four different locations. She's also opening a kids camp at a pottery and painting studio she owns in Multnomah Village. So up to 15 kids will have a place to go during the school day. It's a struggle Esther Harlow, who has a first and second grader at PPS, knows well. She's especially concerned about her student who needs extra help with reading and writing. The district has offered online tutoring, but she doesn't think it will help. Just plopping my kid into onto a computer with someone they don't know for 20 minutes twice a week <laughs> doesn't seem like they'll really get anything out of it. Meanwhile, the staff at Youth Social Services Organization, Self-Improvement Inc., or SEI, say they're also preparing to serve more students with hot meals, academic support, and peer groups. Chief Program Officer Trent Aldridge says it's what SEI has been doing for years, serving students and their families, especially over the summer and during holiday breaks. But now it's for a different reason. We're going to have students in the building uh, hopefully every day that the strike is going. Now bargaining is still ongoing at this moment. The district says they plan to inform families if school is closed tomorrow by 7 p.m. tonight. We're live in Portland, Emily Gersh, K2 News. We will watch it closely, Emily. Thank you. And of course, stay with K2 News as the deadline to reach a deal approaches tonight. Again, the district says it'll notify families tonight around seven o'clock to let them know whether schools will be closed tomorrow. We will also post that update on our website, katu.com, and on our social media pages.